the good thing is that there are some people who are behind the scenes but then they are doing all the good jobs in the industry and when i talk about the good jobs i'm talking about they are doing the promotion they are doing the event organization they have a record of both locally and internationally today i'm going to have a quick chat with one of the great names making it big in london in the space of show business and entertainment my name is sammy flex and of course the macho man here yeah, he's big so i'll call him big nash i don't know which other thing of him is big though i'll talk about that later thanks to digital rasta as well as richie flex they are the producers and di directors of the show i am just sammy flex on the real talk here on sammy flex tv big man officially you are welcome yes if i already told me you were coming to the office i said when i meet you the first thing i will expect is whether the arms are down or not <laughs> We're still, we're still alive. We're still yeah. alive. We definitely keep I it. I checked alive. and the arms are still yeah, on. We have to keep it. Have how to keep how it. do you keep it? How do you keep it? Um, it's natural, though, in the first place. Plus, um, a lot of people think that yeah, it's a bit of steroids and all that, but no, nah, it's natural. I eat my African food mm -hmm. and I train any day that I've got a leisure time anyway. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, if you focus on natural stuff, mm -hmm. that's it. See, so is, is it a daily training routine as in nah, morning, evening? No, nah, the thing is that I keep tell, I keep saying all the time that people don't really need to train each and every day. Space matters quite a lot in there as well because the body needs to rest mm. to work. Mm. If you keep working on it all the time, it's not going to have no rest day so that you can build any of the muscles or any if you can build up. So I might have like about three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little sections in a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the rest is just trying to keep fit. I see. Now, now, when you meet ladies, I know some ladies admire boys with big uh, muscles. When you meet them, how do they react? Oh, yeah. Some some react a bit different. Some of them you can't even describe because, mm -hmm. yeah, if you try to describe, you get yourself in trouble. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, there's some ladies that um, like them. And to, to be honest, there's some ladies that don't want to know at all mm -hmm. yeah they don't even want to, they don't like people that are big or muscles or that kind of things now nah. mm -hmm. but those that like mm -hmm. they just speak well good of it oh. they appreciate it mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. they put big smiles on your face too <laughs> you know what and they, i'm sure they have been pushing you to even maintain oh arms. yeah they, yeah they, yeah when, when doing that especially like i said when you're in the gym and you see ladies around mm -hmm. you don't want to let you don't want to let yourself down mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. whatever that you have to show do, them show them yeah, that you got I it see. If, even if you're gonna die at home i see <laughs> will you take a position of the president's bodyguard because of how your physique is will oh, you take that position oh not really but years back i remember years so many years back when then yeah i was kind of like trying to get into that kind of job anyway because I had a link to get to the job, to work in the castle and stuff and that, mm -hmm. to be in that kind of position because mm -hmm. I've been doing bodyguarding, but yeah, I didn't take that job, I have to leave the country, so I did. But then, yeah, why not, I can't take it, but the thing is, you got to be ready for things like that anyway, mm -hmm. it's all mentally, you know what I mean, yeah, because it's not an easy job. I know. You should be I taking... Know. Because yeah. I, I know some people, they would want men like you to be around them. They feel secured and safe yeah. when they know they have all men, well-built men oh. around them. Like oh, that. yeah. We get that all the time anyway. Like I said, high-grade family people, they all know that when mm. we are around, yeah, it's all secure and solid. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're going to get this. Uh, I don't know. We're going to the high-grade business. <laughs> I know we go to the high grade business, and uh, he is one of the founders of the high grade family. So he has taken me there. I know all of them. I know he's taking me there as early as possible. We will go there proper. We go there proper. Now the good thing is that uh, Big Nash here is based in London. That is where he has been doing his promotions. He has been doing his events everywhere like that. So today let's talk about how the area of promotion is in London. I know gone were the days where every year um, Big Nash promotion could do about three events a year four events in a year and it goes on like that how is the system now is it still the same yeah um, um there hasn't been a lot of changes yeah um, despite the events is being cut down it's just that um i would put it in a way that like it got to a point that everybody is just doing events for doing sake mm -hmm. and i would say it's, it didn't really help because like people were bringing a lot of wrong messages out mm -hmm. and like i said events 
music especially events and stuff like that they are messages okay. they are something that go across the world mm. something like passing a message to somebody but then when you're passing wrong messages and stuff like that it just don't really help a lot of people mm -hmm. so things getting start a bit slow and then like i said the government wasn't really helping as well because as in Ghana government uh, no as in the foreign oh government the foreign government there, okay as well that wasn't really helping as well because they were doing all their best to try and shut down i'm not going to say um yeah mm -hmm. say color saying color mm -hmm, um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nightclubs and stuff and that mm -hmm. just because there's mostly a bit of troubles there all the time you know i mean some can't really handle their drinks mm -hmm. and they end up having a lot of fights some carrying weapons and stuff and that and you just got to a point they have to just try and just shut down a bit of um that type of promotion it, promotion mm -hmm. down in the way but then it never got stopped anyway but we still remember the days that we have to do things that needed to be done like let's say Ghana Music Awards let's say like mm -hmm. independence the that's what is still been going on anyway mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it hasn't been a lot of change the only thing is like the events has been limited okay. but then they're still yeah spreading the world the music across the world so big up Ghana music mm. everywhere now with, with, with all the issues that were around it um they did also affect profit making that you do all the promotions you fly sometimes you even fly artists to London where you guys um not getting profits you're totally right because um this job that we do um I mean, it's a flex like I said you've been in there for quite a long a long and some of that some of the times we have to take a risk some of the times we have to do it with passion mm. because it's all the time that we win there's quite a lot that we struggle to put up that event mm. we struggle a lot because at times you have to invest your family time mm. you have to invest a lot of quite money that probably might be needed for something else but you're trying to put point across trying to cross other barriers you're trying to do all your best that the event or the artist could be heard mm. but then you don't put in the money you won't get anywhere and you put in the money and at times you lose nothing comes, nothing comes. and at times it's a bit painful and i would say some of our people don't really help as well mm. because as in the Ghanaians who come to you yeah as in the Ghanaians mm -hmm. i'll say that and i always say that because that's where it is mm -hmm. you see they are same countries Mm -hmm. which I don't want to mention names mm -hmm. when they're going out for an event or a club mm -hmm. they know that they're going to support mm -hmm. right at mm -hmm. least they got their gate fee mm -hmm. or something to buy a drink mm -hmm. or anything but in our people who want a free guest list mm -hmm. or they wanted to come in for free mm -hmm. they want to come and have a good time and if it is that they come in and it doesn't even go well then they start misbehaving and start to telling you things but they didn't even pay to come in but if coming there to come and watch an artist that has been flew all the way from different mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. money is in spending and everything and that, and you come for free and you want to criticize as well. So our people don't really help to as well. And then we lose at times a lot, but um, at times it's, it's a passion. I see. Now, 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 what is that experience you can share with us? Maybe one event that you successfully gained and the other that you successfully failed? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I will say, um, like I said, um, some of the events that we do um, fail quite a lot uh, because you've been in the industry and you know that at times this job, saying few of them just need a bit of sponsorship, if I should say. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we can't do it all on our own mm -hmm. because it's quite a lot of course involved. So at times sponsorship helps a little bit. As well, and then when things don't go right that way with the sponsorship, yeah, that's you investing your own money in there. If you haven't got it, they the same things you're not going to get it right. Mm. If you don't get it right, you don't get the right people there. You don't get the right people there, you don't get the right money. You don't get the right money, that means there's unhappiness, mm. nobody is happy. So, I'll take that as a fail. Mm. But there's same events to as well that. It's not only sponsorship like us, but then when things are put right, like organization, mm -hmm. planning, directing, delegating powers to other people, everybody getting involved, everybody spreading the message, everybody making things easier for everybody, 
at times we bring all our people in good like they come out happily mm -hmm. and then have fun they support have fun and mm -hmm. they support and it's like i will say i can cast my mind back and say there's one event that we did i don't i'm not sure whether you was there but then it was uh, a lot with the lord their promotion we have mm -hmm. to do daddy lumba and then oh yeah yeah i heard about that event. yeah i heard about that event. oh I heard, my I heard it was very big yeah very successful it was one of the most successful events in I, london yeah i will say that yeah and then a lot of them did a very great job mm -hmm. it's been a while that the lumba has come down mm -hmm. there but then yeah he lumba brought or i'll say due to a lot of years, uh, effort the promotion of everyone you were involved everybody that mm -hmm. was involved um did their job and they brought each and every single Ghanaian living in London, outside London, to come to that event. Yeah. It was a great I was it was I, a great I, I, I've heard that it was so far. Great, it was a great it's one of the yeah. successful shows. I keep telling a lot that that day if he didn't make money then he should have just stopped. Uh, <laughs> he big up a lot yet, man. He should have just um stopped that doing events, you know, because everybody came out. Okay. Our grandmothers, our great great, mm -hmm. our Children's moms or mm. exes, what you just meet everybody <laughs> that <laughs> our haters and our loved ones, exactly. They all came there, yeah, everybody. Like Ghana there. came out, oh, Ghana shot. came out, oh, Ghana came out. Mm. Everybody's club, everybody was out there, and it was a great time, yeah. Wow, great one there. Still here with Big Nash on the Real Talk on Sammy Flex TV. Now, I've also had some promoters not long ago. One of them came from US of A, uh, Jagonzi TV, where he talked about artists also not helping. According to him, when artists are coming up, especially the new ones, they put money into them, they try to promote them, but when they become big, now they start to show them off, especially when it comes to events. You have to fly them, they want to come with 10 people, the amount of money they are charging, they are not ready for any collaboration and all that. Do you also think that artists are not being reasonable with event promoters, especially those of you living in the diaspora? Right, I'm not going to say it. I will never blame the artists because it's a hard work for them to, to deal with as well. I won't put all the blames in the artists. But like I said, in, there's, in certain scenarios, and yeah, but... Um, and for me out, like I said, I always go around and just come back to the roots, yeah? Mm -hmm. If I say that, I mean, at times, it's our people that makes the artists behave that way. Because... As in the promoters? As in the promoters and as in the audience. Okay. And as in the listeners. Mm -hmm. And as the people that are in the industry because they've made the artists know that life bigger than God. The hype, the everything that boosting this artist. Now the artist felt a bit like, oh yeah, without me, I'm the controller. I am in charge. Much. Some of them divert and their character changes because he used to have ten likes on an Instagram page, and now he's having thousands. Mm -hmm. So mine is changed. Mm -hmm. Um. People that he used to go to them, mm -hmm. now they're coming to him mm -hmm. for help and so many other things. So at times it changed their mind. But then, like I said, when people when say artists are complaining that oh, you're not getting good treatments about flying them mm -hmm. up and down, it's a big cost. And it's not every promoter can be able to afford all your entourage, mm -hmm. flights, mm -hmm. accommodation. And expenditure, and, in expenditure. And, out. and some of them really, really want a special <laughs> <laughs> high class seat. I know, seat. I know, you know what I mean. mean. Yeah, so <laughs> I know what you mean. It makes things a bit hard. But then, two, three man team raising that ball, maybe the promoter can help in that way. But mm -hmm. like I said, there's so much bits and pieces in this artists and promoters um, when they're about to travel. Mm -hmm. There are times you can never know the truth mm -hmm. because. Mm -hmm. It's not all that comes so, out. Everyone is messing up one way exactly. or the other. But how about collaborations, partnership with them? So for instance, Big Nash has all the connect in London. He can say, okay, Stone Boy, Samini, Shatawale, guys, put yourself together, come to London. Um, I might not have any front money to pay you or any down payment for you guys. But come and let's do it. After that, we split proceedings. How about that? How are you guys not doing that? 
Right. Um, not that we're not doing that. We've tried that before, and at times um, it depends on the kind of relationship you've got with the artist. Something like that can happen with me. Mm -hmm. I'll say, yeah, it can happen with me that, like I said, I've got a lot of all these my artists that I've taken them as like families. That's what they all call me, dada, and everything like that. I can be in that position and speak to them and demand that help mm -hmm. so we can do that. But you've got to understand where they're coming from as well. Um, it's their face now that is worth who they are. Mm -hmm. he, you want him to come. He's coming to work. You need to just pay him or show him out mm -hmm. what he needs. Mm -hmm. So if um, it's your country, Big Nash is in the UK, he's in London, mm -hmm. he's doing an event, mm -hmm. and you want a Ghanaian based artist mm -hmm. to go partnership with you, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound right because, in the first place, that's your country, that's your people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is just coming to come and come and do it. Okay, so if you're going to go percentage with him, it doesn't work because he's going to do all the hard work. And what are you going to do? You just going to you can't promote that much because you're in Ghana. The only thing you can do is to your social media a little bit. He's going to do all the hard work. Mm. So at times, they just have to charge and get paid and leave whatever that needs to be done mm. for but, but the, uh, the unfortunate thing is that the promoters are not having the money down to pay these artists so if the promoter can say get the event venue pay for promotion publicity be it on traditional media or social media then you the artist you also bring your product your product is your performance so that we can make things happen because if it doesn't happen like that and maybe um um Big Nash doesn't have ten thousand pounds to go do a whole promotion. Then it means that area of uh, the show business is also dead. Right, I understand totally what you're saying and where you're coming from. But um, you're gonna have to think about it. Also, we are all human beings, and things get changed. Like I said, he said he agreed. He will come. Let's do this event. Then when we finish, we share the money. But when they finish the event. There was no money that needs to be shared. Because people did not come? Be because people did not come. Because there was less promo. Because the artists couldn't drag people from home to such an event. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the promoter is let some people down mm -hmm. due to same cases that's happened before. Mm -hmm. There'll be so many varieties of like issues. Issues why people is not gonna turn up. Mm -hmm. Now it's there's gonna be a problem with the artists and the promoter because they decided or they agreed that they're going to share the profit but now there is no profit there is cost there and that will create a different listen so you understand where both of them are coming from anywhere okay. but i will always say that as a promoter i will say that if you deliver what the artists need he will always come to, back to you he always come back to you so when you create certain relationship with them okay. it helps you to get that kind of a deal mm -hmm. but if you haven't got a relationship with them mm -hmm. he's not going to do that deal I know. because I know. um like i said i'll tell you one i'll tell you one one funny story and then mm -hmm. you might not even believe it there was like a promoter that wanted um some artists to pass through and sing one song mm -hmm. for something for yeah mm -hmm. and it's like oh the promoter was trying to offer this money that small money for the artist for just for coming through passing to sing that one song right the answer that was given to the promoter by the other manager is that the money you're calling is not even worth it's not up to money for even an iphone so mm. you're telling me my artists don't worth an iphone money which it did make sense because mm -hmm. it's not the coming to sing one song is the appearance of the artist yeah, the person that built up that mm -hmm. money that and, and and that is what that they, name put, they put value on valid on mm -hmm. so if you're gonna pay me money that is not worth an iphone money that's a big disrespect mm -hmm. you I see get it. i guess so now, now, now the, the other side will be the event promoters also coming together because one promoter might not have enough 
why are we not having say a lot of their promotions uh, <laughs> big nash promotions um dennis that is acquired by uk um west coast why are you guys not coming together to be doing all the bigger events maybe you put all the top artists we are touring london we do outside london west london everywhere how about that yeah it can be done but it definitely like, like i said um there's no unity mm. there's no unity in the I'm not going to say the Ghanaian promoters, but there's no unity in most of all the promoters because I might come up with one word that's like maybe everybody is trying to be greedy. Mm -hmm. Everybody is trying to make the money for themselves. Mm -hmm. But if we come together, mm -hmm. we can have a great big show, mm -hmm. a very, very great big show. Mm -hmm. But then because one, we're not united, mm -hmm. two, everybody's being greedy or everybody wants to have all money to themselves it can never happen wow. but we've got promoters that got good relation with artists we've got promoters that i've got good links to sponsors we've got promoters that i've got good link to organization mm -hmm. so if all of us come together we can put up a big show yeah. and all of us will eat that money in there exactly. but now everybody wants the money to come to yeah wow so i'm sure not long ago sarkodia also mentioned such a thing that all ghanian promoters who are living abroad it is high time you stop talking about i did it i did it i did it but rather start talking like we did it we did it and together you guys can achieve more now how about big nash and um the high grade family um, what is your role there? Are you playing any executive role? Because I know from the um, Saminis <laughs> down to Stone Boy and everybody who is in that line, they are all uh, they are all sons too. Yeah, the big boy. Yeah, they all call me that. <laughs> I know from the SM fans, from the Beam Nations, uh -huh. from uh -huh. yeah, just because like Big Nash is um, portraying himself like a an Afro dancer promoter. Oh, okay. Like I said, um, they're gone at the days when the same artists when they even call a lord yeah mm -hmm. or they call and say oh go and call big nash you know because if you're a dance all that so this is big nash show that you have to go on not me because my gender my everything was about all about afro music combining with the dance or music that's when we come up with all this afro dance or Mm -hmm. music you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. i remember when i was about to go and do afro nations in ghana mm -hmm. eight years ago mm -hmm. and then yeah jesus wonderful things didn't really happen to me for me and jobo and other people anyway mm -hmm. but um it's all about dance soul music so all these dance all artists yeah mm -hmm. they all just um come through me and then Based, I've got passion for. I know. So, so you you've done promotions with Shatawale before. In um, London. yeah, I will say that I will say, uh, yeah, Shatawale's first um, big show in then um, UK London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was done by the me. I took I took um, Shatawale to UK to do. Yeah, it's a dance out in mm -hmm. and event and two, that's 2013 okay you know what i mean because then it's got to a point and i've taken stone boy like i said a promoter whoever does well mm -hmm. yeah the spouse so high grade dance hall and the yeah, fraternity. yeah so if you're doing well i'll help you so then i started from like when the semino was going and stone boy jupiter i won and shatawale mm. a whole lot all mm. just um come through a, anyway so um yeah it's not only about are you I going to do are you going to do more or now your, yeah. your shocks are weak so you're not going to do no more. no 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 <laughs> it's, uh, I still, music is music it's always the message so i'm i'm in the industry and there's more there's more 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 to come oh, so okay. yeah business promotion is something that yeah uh, it's, it's not about the, it it's not no, about it, it, uh, it's, now, now at the point life. when these dance hall and reggae artists were beefing themselves all over mm -hmm. uh, samini against shatawale shatawale against this one stone boy how how were you uh, managing it because you needed to still do the shows and when they come together that is when you win more but when they start throwing jabs among themselves how are you managing that time yeah you, at times <laughs> at times a smile and at times i laugh because they feel it's like i'm with all of them I know. and i can't um yeah, I can't be on one side, mm -hmm. so I do speak to them, or oh, I need to speak to them. Listen, keep it in the music, stuff and that. Lyrical gunshot, 
we come across across that all the time in mm. music anyway, but it was very difficult. No. It wasn't. I, no, I know. It, it wasn't easy. I know. It wasn't easy. I, I, I could feel that you wouldn't know where to stand at the yeah. time. If you go here so much, you have an issue with it. There's another one. If you come here so much, you have the it issue. Go to with a time it. I just even have to just lock myself off from the music industry for some time and be behind the scenes because I don't want to write something, mm -hmm. then somebody will interpret me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say something, then somebody will interpret me. But then, like I said, I knew one day it's all going to be united anyway because mm. this uh, them anyway. And high grade is high grade. I know. Still counting. I know. And so, so uh, what, what, what do you think about the collaboration between Samiri and Chateau? Like it's, 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 like it's, like it's like a dream. It's like something that needed to happen some time ago mm -hmm. and it didn't really happen. But then finally, it happened. and. The song was a banger. I mean, the first time I heard the tune, mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, big up, Niyama. I know that, yeah, you've done it. You've let people know that music is all about, you know, unity, peace, and love. Mm -hmm. And the song is a big tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it's a big tune. Like I said, even when my phone rings now, that's my ring. That's my ringing that's tone. My anyway, so yeah, it's a big deal. Like, like I said, all of them is mature and good enough to just come up with um, a nice celebra celebration song mm -hmm. for the Christmas. Mm -hmm. For the Christmas. Mm -hmm. I, I really likely to see maybe a Samini Shatawale tour or celebration tour very soon because of that song. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's in the it's in the pipeline. Okay. You know what I mean? We yeah, we, yeah we, there's a plan of um, tour for a great family and then an SM for life to oh, do wow. and when. That's going to come up soon anyway. It was, mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. in the Bible. We are planning it hard. I see. You know how now, 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 I, I don't know if you, you could also intervene between Shatawal and Sarkod here because I, I know when the whole beef thing left the high grade and the beam nation, it is now likely or it is now hovering around <laughs> SM and Sark nation. I don't know how uh, Big Nash will intercede in this. Yeah, you know, you know, that side is not really my league anyway, but then, <laughs> like I said, big up Sarko, the big up um, Shatawale. I know that. They both all mature and they both all grown up and they know what they are doing anyway. It's not gonna get to where it will get. It will just it will it will go down because one of them is a well disciplined one mm -hmm. and one of them is a well spoken one too as well. So mm -hmm. They all 50 50. And so that's why, it. yeah, that's why I say, yeah, you're gonna go rich. See, anyway. now before you, you, you leave us, um, how is Ghana music doing in UK? Uh, from high life, from uh, hip hop, uh, hip life, dance hall, reggae. Are we still enjoying a larger space in UK or it is not as big as we want it to be? Listen, Mr. Sammy Flex, mm. the Ghana music is getting bigger and bigger in the UK. Good. Like I said, even if I should say there's quite a lot that happened during this kind of music awards that we did, you know, what I mean? it spread the message a lot. The people that come out and some of the artists that people even know in the UK, mm -hmm. there are Ghanaian artists. I couldn't even believe because some of them I don't even know them. I haven't really heard much about them, but people know them. People are singing to their song yeah. and everything like that. And I'll say, yeah, big up to yeah, Ghana Music Awards because they most of the time listen to the people out there and bring them what they want and what they need mm -hmm. and they deliver it so well. So the, the music, Ghana music in UK is expanded really, really well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I would say, yeah, we're all trying to put our efforts in there so we can spread the message very well. But he's doing, he's doing great stuff. All right, yeah. then on this note, let me say big ups to all our people who are living in London, supporting Ghana music, supporting Ghana music, and of course, supporting Big Nash promotions, and all the promoters who are doing very well in London, especially to the organizers of Ghana Music Awards UK, Alodia and Co. I know it has been a serious and a journey of a hell, but you guys are still breaking through. Um, the man, Big Nash, came to visit us in Ghana. We couldn't let him go like that. We <laughs> had to go on time. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I so, you know. know. Yeah, I know. To to I anyway, know. So. You couldn't just let him go like that. We had to take some one or two juices out of him, and I'm sure you have been informed. You've gotten some knowledge out of this. We will meet in London, and we'll do more.
Big Nash. Blasphemy. I know, he's a macho <laughs> man. Big ups to Richie Flex. Big ups to Digital Rasta Currency. My name is Sammy Flex. This has been The Real Talk here on Sammy Flex TV. We out of here.